Um, and um, we're going to be talking about uh, summer in Lisbon, which is a lovely idea. I mean, it feels like it's upon us already here in May, doesn't it? It is, yeah. it is actually. That's why we thought about it. Like, yeah. <laughs> we got to call it spring in Lisbon, but we thought, actually, I think that passed about a month ago now. So we're in, aren't we? It's we're in. It's no very... rain to speak of, no, no, no mm. April showers. We missed out on those this year. Um, mm. And we, it sounds like we're straight into the sunshine. So, what are your recommendations then uh, when it comes to enjoying uh, the Lisbon in the summertime? Well, I mean, the one thing is, of course, that there's the big shift, you know, because we found, especially this year, being a bad winter, that um, Lisbon felt a bit sad and drab, really, because of that, because there's so much of it is outdoors that uh -huh. you know, once you lose all that, then it disappears. And so, yeah, I mean, already, you know, we're, we're looking and, you know, we, we go out a lot more, we walk out a lot more, not only in the city, but outside. Yeah. You know, different bits. Yeah. Um, and also then, of course, obviously a lot of that, more outdoor events, so a lot of outdoor cost, concerts, festivals coming up, which get book, get booking, guys, because the tickets are running out. Oh, um, okay. So it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. Well, let me just rewind a bit further back from that. Um, how do you find out about all of these festivals? Because I, I know the big ones, you know, the big, the big NOS festival and all that sort of stuff are well publicized, but a lot of festivals in Portugal aren't. Um, do you, yeah, need sure. bit, you need a bit of an insider to help you with that? Or what's the best place to find out in Lisbon? Is there a, is there a timeout? There must be, right? There There's an agenda, uh, one, one called Agenda Viral. All right. Which are Agenda Viral in Lisboa. And some of the things, I mean, there's all the events that they are in, in, in Lisbon, from, I don't know, watercolor sketching, I don't know what, to all the concerts that might be or not be in in squares or restaurants or esplanadas or other things. So that is a good place to to check the events. And obviously, approaching the summer, more and more things seems to be happening in squares or or outdoor locations. So yeah. that I also arranged in sort of a calendar um, structure, so it could be quite easy to find things according to the dates so that you can have a room, you know. Okay, Agenda Viral. Okay, Agenda Viral. I bet they wish I hadn't thought they'd called it that in the during the pandemic, but that still that still goes. Oh, yeah, it was named was <laughs> named before. <laughs> yes, and, and managed to continue uh, right. throughout the pandemic. So you can find out about things that yeah. are going on. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I think you're going to talk us through a few of your favourites here. Look, the party's getting started again. Oh well, yeah, uh, there's our friend the Claudius. Hi, Claudius. There's Claudia and Claudia. They, they came to visit us from Rome, and there's Santos Popularis, obviously, obviously in uh, oh, from okay. June. Yeah, Santos yeah, Popularis. Uh, Tell us more about that. Some, and that is somewhere in um, Alfama. Yes, yeah. it is. I see that Yeah. Okay. And uh, and it's a uh, uh, yeah. Well, it's, it's it's the full month of June where pretty much they start, the main one starts to kick off just before that few days before Sant Antonio. Okay. Well. If I remember right, yes, 12th of June. Yes. Um, leading up to obviously the and um, the Santos popular the, the night of it, Santos is, is the 12th, I, is, is the 12th, 12th. Yeah. okay, okay. And but then you'll get a lot of the like a whole month of, of celebrating, yeah, so. pretty much. Yeah, towards the end, it's winding down, it's a bit hard to find things, but definitely you'll get a two three week period in the middle of it where it's kind of a rest, aren't you? By the last week of it, you probably are actually, yeah. Yes. And it's, it's very competitive because we find all the regions, you know, all the areas and all the districts are kind of competing with each other. So, to so outdo the other, do the other one. So, so you excellent. Know. So and are, you, are you in awe of the Portuguese uh, capacity for partying? I don't know how they do it. Do you? <laughs> I don't know. No, no, it's true. Just coffee you a lot once you get it's, a, it's a cycle of coffee and, and alcohol, but by the look of it. I suppose, I suppose. There's not the school, yeah, the concept of school day seems to not. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's just the kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> especially, well, especially not in June, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, Santos Popularis there. Um, let's um, move on to the next picture. Oh, and that's... With, that's with the the yeah. yeah. I mean, at one point, this, I think, is the Barrio Alto, or is... Um, yeah. Yeah, oasis is somewhere in the Baisha. So, yeah, from the beginning of the month, the city completely transformed itself. And there's decoration, and there's plastic, uh, what do you call those it's things here? And, yeah. Um, yeah. and there's flags everywhere. This, and this is a good symbol to say something is going to go on. So if you're walking down the uh, street, uh, yes. <laughs> Oh, well, that's really good, isn't it? That's a really good idea. So yeah, yeah. that's that's a before picture, isn't it? Because you know yeah, something's yeah, about it. to happen there because there's only one empty plastic bottle on the floor. 
by the end of that party, there's going to be it'll, be it'll be game over. Yeah, yeah, with people yeah. hanging out of windows asleep and all sorts and uh, sure. there, uh, yeah. Cans, yeah, yeah, bottles of Sagresh and super bottle strewn around the place. So yeah, that's how to identify that a party's coming up. Yes, yeah. so we suggest as a way to escape in, in case you don't have any air conditioning like we yeah. do uh, to escape the heat and be on the street up until you know, it's late and and yeah. eat outside and meet people and and dance with some. Hardcore um, old ladies and gentlemen that have been partying <laughs> since the eighties and never and never stopped. It's in, true. Those are some great Portuguese characters, aren't they? They kept they emerge yeah. at these times. I know who yeah. you, there was a guy like that at the bar last night who, who looked like he hadn't stopped partying since the eighties and nineties. Where do they live during the day? I wonder. But they always. <laughs> right. So I want to be there. I love it. Mm. I just want to be in. When you see a picture like that, I, I, that is so Lisbon, and yeah, I just yeah. want to be there. It's just fantastic, isn't it? Um, sensible shoes, though, right? Because to get to this party, you can be up and down the hills on the Calçada. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I shouldn't not, be wearing yeah. my high heels for this sort of party. No, no, no platforms, no high heels, uh, no stilettos, no uh, roller skating, no flip flops. No roller skating <laughs> or flip flops for that matter. You yeah. will see us later for this advice. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't suggest any of those. A strong attacks. pair of brogues, possibly. Oh, we're, we're, so where are we now? Costa de Caparica. Costa de Caparica. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, one thing that is in, embodied summer for us is to get up really early in the morning when we yeah. when we can, and when we manage, and then work up until a certain time, That's and then, and then run to the beach. That's if you don't if you're not confronted by your bondage trousers on the living room floor. No yeah, yeah, that will be, that will be, <laughs> that'll be really challenging. And then run to the beach. Yeah. Beautiful. Look at it. Isn't that fantastic? So oh, was, was, were afternoon. those the Arayesh that we were looking at? Lucinda, good morning to you. Arayesh, yeah. So the Think, Arayesh. Oh, hola, Lucinda. So you know, Lucinda, they really are the best, uh, the red best of Lisbon. There. So thank you for being here and saying that. And Joao, Joao, morning to you, Joao. Yeah, Lucinda Passos, yes, they are. By the way, pleased to meet you, Lucinda. Look at you, Joao, uh, making um, making uh, uh, Lucinda very welcome. Winkle Pickers yeah. probably okay for the party, um, yeah. but as long as they've got a stout sole on them and heel, I think. Um, and Lucinda, look at this. Pleased to meet you too, Joao. How lovely. So here we oh, are. Well, Cush, well, Cush, okay, Cush. it's going on. And we've got a couple of colas, uh, and I suspect maybe some vodka in there as well. But this this stretch of beach, this this epitomizes Lisbon as well, doesn't it? How many kilometers of beach have you got on the south of the water there? This one goes on I for think, miles, doesn't uh, it? It's something like about seven or eight kilometers between. And, and then it goes on further. I mean, if you're just going for Costa Caprica, you can walk all the way along there. By which point you're exhausted, then you walk back again. But yeah. <laughs> If you, if you kept going, you'd end up with George Clooney and Sharon Stone, wouldn't you? Down down the coast. Yeah, you, well, you get um, like all down Bofaira, which is a bit in the way. Right. You okay. tried to cross that once and it didn't go yeah. successfully. So. Yeah, the police arrived and um, rescued us. But... <laughs> wow, good work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But and there, there, here, so. there are military operations along the coast there as well, aren't there? So you can't walk through those bits either, I think, to get all the way down yeah, the I coast. I think on the top you can't, actually. You can down you can, can down the bottom. The beach can is you? Oh, good. Glad to yeah, hear that. I don't think there's any bits that stop it, but uh, the passage along the top of the hills gets stopped. From that time. But anyway, apart from jokes, I think that if you're a serious work, walker and you yeah. manage to know when the low tide is on the Lagoa del Bufeira, you can actually walk from... Yeah, from yeah. the Costa de Caparica to through the Fonte da Teglia to the Lagoa da Bufeira to the Praia do Mecco, and then I th do you think you you're yeah. almost at the end? Yeah, you you're almost, almost at the end. Yeah. So, but, but it will be a, a nice walk. Yeah. It will be, won't it? And you mentioned the Lagoa de Albufeira there. Not Albufeira in the Algarve. You're not going that far. No, but that, no. that place is amazing, isn't it? We've stumbled across that by accident. We were heading down a bit further south to Azatona, uh, Azatón, um, and Sesimbra and that, that yeah. part of the world. But that Lagoa de Albufeira, is, it's like being on the moon, isn't it? There are yeah, certain yeah, aspects yeah. of it where, where, you know, this is where the, I think where an estuary meets the sea. 
Yes, it's, it's yeah. lunar, isn't it? It's a really fantastic little place. That I yeah, and it's very. It, it could be very quiet and silent, and yes. at times moody, but 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 then very nice to swim in. There's a, there's kids playing around, but they could be very quiet in other areas. So just just I, I think it's very, very spectacular. Otherworldly, and mm. all of all of coastal life is there because of uh, Costa de Caparica. If you like it, kiss me quick. It's the Costa de Caparica end of, of yeah, things, isn't it? Yeah. Surfing, partying, a lot of boozing goes on there. And it's the first bit you come to, I suppose, when you get over the bridge. And you can catch the bus. They, they, again, do quite a few summer festivals. And, in fact, they're a bit more Portuguese-related music rather than the other festivals on the other side, which are which more, more to international. Be more, yeah. you know, so that's, that's one interesting thing to look out for. There is a great, actually talking of new wavy tunes, there is a song based on um, a Ramones track uh, and it's Sol de Caparica. Um, oh. I, it's, I can't remember the, the, the original Ramones tune, but a Portuguese band did a cover version and changed the lyrics and called it Sol de Caparica. Available on Spotify. It's a great rocking tune. Um, okay. and again, it's synonymous. Okay. I'll, yeah, I'll find that for you and send it to you because I think you'll like that one. So here we are um, uh, on the beach. Uh, that's a lovely yeah. picture and a lovely scene. And there's miles of that kind of beach. South yeah. Of the oh, before we go further mm. down the beach, there are, you can go to the beach on the north of the river as well. There are beach fronts, aren't there, to enjoy on the north? On, on the yeah, north yeah, side. yeah, definitely. And I mean, there's also quite a nice walk. I mean, if you want to walk along the river from this part, it's probably from Algesh onwards, really. Okay. Uh, there's a nice cycle path, but also there's a nice walking path. So although it's you know it's all concrete over and everything, there's lots of little beaches and little places to look at. But that's a fantastic walk, and then you can pretty much go all the way to Cash yeah, you can all the way to Cashpash. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I uh, will jump on a train because the railway stations are along. Yeah, way. that's the most practical to reach actually in that kind yeah. of sense because yeah. you can get the train from Cash Sudre and then you get off and then. Off you go. You choose, you pick your you pick your favorite one and get off at the right station, or either walk from yeah, beautiful, or really cycle, are. or cycle, yeah. or rollerblade. Yeah, I am loving this tour. Thank you so much. But it looks like we've gone further south. Am I right? Well, we're up the top now. So actually, oh. when you walk along the beach on Costa Caprica, there is the passage in the fossil uh, fossil 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 along okay. the top, which uh, is actually part of the route that goes all the way around the coast. Portugal, right the way to Spain. So, oh. um, but you are right at the top, and probably as you walk along the beach of Costa Caparica, if anybody's been up there, you'll see that sort of, you know, you'll see the big cliff. So you're actually walking along the top of that cliff. Mm. You go along there. And there's quite there's some great spots to some great viewpoints and everything. So I'm posted there. So we are on the top of the cliff, which used to be the edge of the sea before the big earthquake. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's, and then the sea retracted all the way down there. So it's quite, it's yeah. quite shocking yeah. actually. And you can see dinosaur uh, footprint. Can you, do you call it footprints? No. Yeah, they got the paw prints, maybe. They, they were those. Anyway. Oh, that makes dinosaurs sound so cuddly and lovely. Dinosaur paw prints. We're going to go with that. Yeah, and so you're it. seeing this ancient, ancient, um, uh, sort of paleontological. Yeah, space. yeah. So Jurassic, yeah, coastline. Yeah. Wonderful. So you can see. Yeah, this is <clears throat> and this is what you. I've, 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 I've wondered about that because if, if you're on Fontanella, for example, you look behind mm. you, away from the sea, and yeah. there is a high ridge, isn't there? Yeah. yeah. This, this is the, the what you're saying is the, is the dramatic seismic shift that took place. Well, apparently, apparently, it wasn't the fact that, that was actually at sea level, but it was the fact that all the coastline that you see there up onto that cliff, which at some points is quite deep, wasn't there at all. So that was that was under the sea, and then after the earthquake, it wasn't. My goodness, right, so, look at that. And it, and it just looks so tranquil and peaceful. And you, yeah, can, you don't see too many people walking on there. That's one good thing about it. It's, it's quite a nice walk. And actually, well, it's quite nice now because it could be exactly. quite scorching. And dramatic nice walking, walking, I was yeah. going to say. So if you're going now, it's very nice. Also very pretty because, you know, now you've got all the last bits of the spring flowers out. So it actually looks, you know, it's not Beautiful. just forest. It's not nice. Beautiful. Um, but yeah, summertime, go early or yeah, go early in the morning. Or oh, don't go. <laughs> <It's not Jango. laughs> okay, yes, wait till the autumn yeah. or spring. But uh, beautiful. Yeah. Okay, and there we have beautiful yeah. show view again go. as well. There, the same driver, same. drive everywhere. Oh, you're the, the designated driver, are you? Um, yeah, I don't drive. <laughs> so Fabrizio can be asleep in the passenger seat on the way home. No, I, I, I'll DJ. He DJs. 
Oh, very good. Okay, you're getting ready to get 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 the Spotify or the YouTube on there and play a few tunes on the way back. That sounds like a lovely day out. Fantastic. Oh, okay. So I think we're back in the city now, are we not? We yeah, are. we're on the other side where you mentioned. We are exactly. in Kashish. Very nice, very nice. And is there a little beach on the other side of that wall? There is a little beach, actually. Very little, very, very no, little. No, 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 yeah. There's a restaurant here. Yeah, but okay. there's a little... Ah, there is. Well, yeah, no, I don't know. Microscopic, yeah. but yes, yeah. <laughs> is is that no, one of your favourite? Is, is this one of your favourite places? Is is the way to likely to say I have your usual table ready for you here? No, no. We've been a couple of times. We like it quite a lot, but uh, but I will say is is it, it takes you away from the usual view of Lisbon, which it seems uh, to be from that side on, because what you're looking at is uh, a farmer. Oh, of course, yeah. On yeah, the other yeah. side. Yeah. So what what you see allows you to look at Lisbon from the other side while drinking and eating. So we... It's also quite... Nice, if you're not going to eat and drink there, it's quite a nice walk along that. Bit. Yeah, from yeah, Castilla, yeah. Right the way up to uh, the statue. Which is, right that the is, that's an, a fascinating little coastline, isn't it? Um, it is, yeah. it's, it's partly industrial, isn't it? And then you'll find a little port where, where a ferry might pop in and out yeah, from time to time. Yeah. And then there'll obviously be a little cafe there. And the, those are some real treasures along those little bays yeah. there where, where, the, where the lesser known ferries uh, service uh, and move people across the water. Beautiful. Okay. And a bit of digital, digital nomadery going on here. Well, no, it's just that our office location just switched to the balcony from June <laughs> to October. So that's our work. Like cloudy view. Arrangement. Living the dream, I would say. Yeah. Here. No, yeah. No. So, yeah. Yeah, amazing. And, and uh, is this a reference to how at some point um, you would be um, uh, thinking to yourselves, it's getting too crowded now on the streets of Lisbon. We are retreating to our balcony here. What are the times to avoid um, all the tourists and the intense heat, would you say? Or is that not really a problem? Well, lunchtime, lunchtime uh, until 3.34 starts to be... Yeah quite challenging at the moment to be walking around yeah. and walking around it could be done in the shade it could be done for sure wearing appropriate clothing and stuff like that yeah just lack of shade after that you're okay you kind of keep in the shade but uh, morning time go at morning time i mean you go out in the crowds yeah. you you know you'll get to see stuff it's uh it's been waking up really <laughs> so, but no no no, no real time, actually, okay. sorry and no 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 <laughs> True Lisboeta would be out in the intense heat of the afternoon. That is a sort of that is you're, you're identifying yourself as a tourist, aren't you? If you go out in the intense heat, anyway, people know how to live uh, these seasoned Lisboetas, I suspect. So you, you you might be up fairly early, get out and do your shopping and so on, go to the market, and then retreat. And that's why people in Lisbon and Portugal generally tend to enjoy themselves later into the evening, which comes yeah. as quite a shock, doesn't it? Whilst expats are going to bed sometimes, or they're told that there's an event on. Oh yeah, what time shall I meet you there? Oh, nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. <laughs> nine yeah, o'clock. Yeah. Right. We're, yeah. we're yeah. having a cup of cocoa and watching EastEnders uh, by that yeah. time. But that, that's that's the way to deal with the heat, isn't it? Is to is to change yeah. your day. Yes, yeah. it's a typical thing of southern uh, southern Europe, I guess. Yeah. In Italy, we do the same. In Spain, it's even later because it's even hotter. So it's yeah. it's, it's our our everyone is. Yeah, so you learn to adjust to that. Mm -hmm. um, so that yeah. That's the heat, the heat adjustment. Um, yeah. Busy, busy times and places to avoid, perhaps, um, because you know it's, it, it, Lisbon is a is a successful uh, tourist destination. So there are yeah. Yeah. pressure points, are there not? I mean, it's a bit hard to to say. Really. I mean, you just yeah. I mean, it's, it, once you get the summer, and once you get a lot of people, especially travelling through Lisbon, because you know they're flying here and then go somewhere else. Yeah. Well, we kind of it's it's part of a, of the dynamic of the city. You see, the tourism and and places with the high affluence as people, and and it, we we understand the frustration of many points that come with the high tourism season. But then also we are a plenty of times we are tourists ourselves, yeah. so we are those ones that walk the city. Looking at things, so we were very. We don't know how to sit with this sort of demonization, demonization, yeah, yeah. of tourism. Yeah. So we 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 felt that it was a bit spooky when it was dramatically empty, the city mm -hmm. during the time of COVID and post immediately post COVID. So in a yeah. way, we enjoy it now that the crowd 
is is back on back and again, yeah. um, and so but i will certainly avoid i don't know what would i say what I, I would avoid i would avoid for example the time out market by lunchtime of any weekend yes. day because because there's far too many people and it's far too expensive to be good um uh, what would i also yeah. avoid oh, maybe maybe some areas of the Barrio Alto, where the Erasmus crowd, more than tourist crowd, is present. Oh, I see. And these these will be students coming to enjoy yeah. uh, Lisbon. But by mm. the sound of it, you're struggling to find places that you'd avoid, and that's really good news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because I mean, I mean, you know it enough, and it's going. If you go somewhere, you think, "Oh, it's looking a bit busy here." We now know where to go. You know, we'll wander off somewhere else. And yeah, and of course, many people just follow the tourist track. You know, you go here, you go there, you go there. Have a wander around, have a wander around through the back street, you know, go off, yeah. go off track a bit. It's a safe city, so it's not like you know, you, well said. you've got to wander down some back alley and be robbed or something. So, uh, yeah, it's not like the drug dealing is hidden down back alleyways, you just need to go to Rossio and it's very out in the open, yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's very, it's the main road, yeah, yeah, yeah. so no worries there. And, yeah. and, on, and on the safety side, uh, the, 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 perhaps one of the, the, the least attractive aspects, and it's very rare, of course, but is, is you're warned about pickpockets when you're in uh, in Lisbon yeah. on a busy tram and so on. So just be careful with that. You know what to do. You know, put yeah. your wear your backpack the other way around, and just be careful on the on these yeah, concentrations just, of people. Just watch. I mean, the scale of pickpocketing here is nothing compared to the levels in Rome and Athens yeah. or. Madrid or any other cities that I've ever been to, or Paris or any of that stuff. But when it yeah, happens, right. it happens. But when so it happens, so. it happens. It's so just, be just vigilant be and don't, uh, you know, don't. I don't know. I don't think know. the bottom line is take the fact that Lisbon's safe, but obviously safe doesn't mean one hundred percent. Yeah. So, so if you go out at eleven o'clock at night, yeah, uh, don't wear your tiaras and. and <laughs> You've ruined my holiday now. The coronation <laughs> hearing. Keep a keep a no, good daytime, Carl. No new heels, no tiaras. What is what sort of holiday is this? I know, okay. I know. Okay. Keep a good daytime. The sparkle more. <laughs> it's good, good advice. Thank you very much. I knew I could rely on you for that. Um, fried bananas. I don't know if this is a um, is this a speciality in Lisbon? Is this a is this a tin wedding anniversary suggestion? We're not sure, Facebook user. While you're saying fried bananas to fried us. Bananas. Another suggestion coming in, Ponto Final is worth a visit. I've not, never heard of that, but... Um, Ponto Final Charlie... is very close to that table there. It's a, it's a restaurant on the other side of, the, yeah, like a few, few hundred meters away from the, the table that you saw. Yeah. yeah, okay. And sorry if I peed on anyone's chips. I'm not suggesting in any way that Lisbon is a dangerous place to go to. It is a city, though, um, and, you know, yeah, you need to be a, a little bit more streetwise sometimes in great concentrations of people. And, and as you've both said, it's a beautifully safe city, um, generally speaking, and a great place to go and uh, a lot more easygoing and lighter hearted than many other European cities. Yeah. And there'll be many opportunities where you don't have to be constantly living on your wits and worrying about what's going on around you. You'll be able to breathe out on a regular basis in Lisbon as you sit down and enjoy a coffee or your lunch or your dinner or the passing tram or whatever. Oh, okay. yeah. so London maybe, is more dangerous. The Paul of course, English right. does have a point. He yeah. does, doesn't he? Yeah, there you go. So thank you very much for that um, lovely introduction to Lisbon in the summer. Uh, I, I thought jacaranda trees, they are, they are the sort of... Um, the characteristic view, are they not? Or is that yeah. spring? I mean, are, are they still in bloom? I'm saying it's summer in Lisbon. Yeah, just coming out in bloom, actually. They yeah, stay yeah. in bloom quite a while. Yeah. Emblematic of the city. Um, any anything else before we go to the Algarve now? And uh, I hope you'll hang around and hang out with uh, Ali for a bit with us. And yeah. anything else we well, should Well, I will say that now the festival season, I'm going back to the topic before, but don't miss any of the if you if people can if you can can manage to be here don't miss any of the big festival music yeah. festival because the program they usually incredible but i'm talking about the big ones and we yeah. saw incredible acts and uh, and the price of it compared to what uh, glass or any other things will cost in the uk or any yeah. other is minimal so yeah. we yeah. and we were we've seen incredible performances of, of people that I wanted to see all my life. Uh, yeah. so nice. uh, Nosh, Nosh Live is yeah. on obviously. I think first day with the chili Pepsi sold out now, but there's still some tickets for that. Uh, what right. else? Is the MEO Color Armor is the new one that started up, and that's I think that's a three day one. That's bigger now, actually. That's mm. in um, 
apart from Bella Vista, what else have we got? There's under the Superbock one, which is now split between Praia de Meco and uh, Oprish. Um, yeah, at the Sharena. Arena. Arena. Yeah. Yeah. So those are the ones to look at, and those are the quite popular ones. But well, in the last few years, we saw. Oh, yes. Yeah, there you go. There's not sure. Well, this, this, that's, that's, quite, that's, that's quite the lineup, isn't it? Um, we right. we missed the first day that is sold out, but we're going the second and the third. I'm feeling like a bit of an old gifter here. There's a lot of people on here. I don't don't. Neither do I. So it's a good way that that <laughs> up to speed with what's going on in the world. But all, in all those lineup, one person that I managed to see on the right before Miss the, the incredible Miss Grace Jones, which is one of the people that I do admire most in 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 life and in the yeah. music, Miss is Tash Sultana. Yes. Which which is an incredible solo artist which she plays an incredible amount of, 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 of Australian. Australian girl she's mid-20s she's disturbingly um uh, talented so i will suggest it's, it's, it was someone that i didn't know and yeah, now i'm a new fan. disturbingly yeah. talented that happens from time to time doesn't it mm. in, in a generation that's wonderful so we can play bingo here or do this at your leisure maybe take a screenshot and you know how old you are um, when you can only recognize maybe two or three people on a, a, on, a, on a lineup of this kind. I've heard of the Red Hot Chili Peppers and the Arctic Monkeys. I bet you look good on the dance floor. Yeah. Oh, very good. Uh, that's uh, not alive there. Wonderful. Let's um, let's give, you, give Ali a nice big round of applause and have her join us. <laughs> good morning to you, Ali. Good How morning. are you? Hi, Ali. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, everyone. <laughs> How many, Ali? <laughs> oh, don't. Sam Smith, I've heard of. <laughs> so, let's oh, not go there. So good to see you. Um, Fabrizio, <laughs> thank you for being with us. Don't, don't feel obliged to hang around. You may want to get out to the summer sunshine, but stick around for as long as you want to.